Hey everybody, Michael the Tutor 16 here. Today I'm going to be doing tutorial number 36 in Microsoft Excel. And the topics for discussion in this tutorial will be that I'm going to show you how to add a tab in your ribbon toolbar within Microsoft Excel. This will be a good refresher because in tutorial number 25 we learned how to add and delete pre-made tabs that were already available to us. The advantages of adding new tabs to your ribbon toolbar will be that you can create your own customized tab with the commands that you use most frequently. You can also customize the ribbon toolbar so that it'll make it easier for you to produce your spreadsheet as quickly as possible. So let's go into Microsoft Excel and I'm going to show you how to add a new tab to your ribbon toolbar. As you can see I've gone into Microsoft Excel and today I'm going to show you how to add a new tab to your ribbon toolbar. Your ribbon toolbar is located toward the top of Microsoft Excel, and it's just below your Quick Access toolbar, which is located at the top left-hand corner of the screen. Your ribbon toolbar contains tabs, such as File, Home, Insert, Page Layout, and all of these other tabs just to the right. In tutorial number 25, I showed you how to add and delete the Developer tab in your ribbon toolbar. But in reality, the Developer tab was already prepared for us, we just went into Options and selected it so that it would show up within the Ribbon Toolbar itself. Today we're going to add a new tab so that we can put the options and the commands that we use most frequently whenever we work in Microsoft Excel. So to get started, go over and click on the File tab in your Ribbon Toolbar and go down and select Options. Once in Options, scan down and highlight Customize Ribbon. Once it's highlighted, left-click one time and over to the right, you'll see all of the tabs that are currently available to you within your Ribbon Toolbar. As I said in tutorial number 25, the Developer tab was already there. We just put a check mark in the box, and when we selected OK, it added it to the view within the Ribbon Toolbar itself. But today, we're going to add a new one. So go down and click on New Tab one time. When you do this, the new tab will be added to your list, but it will not show up in your Ribbon Toolbar until we finish customizing it and then pressing OK. So we want to rename this tab so we know what it is. So go up and click on it to highlight it and then go down and click on Rename. I'm just going to rename this tab to Test in capital letters. Once I've renamed it, I can click on OK and as you can see the name has been changed to Test. Now we can start customizing it by moving in the commands that we frequently use. To start, go down and click where it says New Group, and then in brackets it'll say Custom. Once this is highlighted, you can go over to the left and scan through your list and add any command that you would like. If you don't see the command in this list, click on the drop-down arrow and you can see commands that are not in the ribbon, or All Commands, or Macros, or you can choose any command within this list. I'm going to stay with popular commands because I'm going to go down and add the Save and Save As command to my Test tab. So if I want to add the Save, I'm going to click on it one time to highlight it, and then I'm going to click on Add. And as you can see, it added the Save command to my Test tab. And I'm going to do the same thing for Save As, just by clicking on it to highlight it, click on Add, and now you can see both Save and Save As have been added to my Test tab. Now when I click on OK, you'll see that the Test tab has been added to our Ribbon Toolbar. And when you click on it, you should see Save and Save As. Now you can move this Test tab anywhere within this list that you would like to see it. Let's say we want to move it in between Home and Insert. To do this, go back to your File tab in your Ribbon Toolbar, click on Options, and go back to Customize Ribbon. Go down and highlight your Test tab over here to the right, and then you can use these up and down arrows to move it anywhere within the list. So I want to move it in between Home and Insert. So once it's highlighted, I can click on the up arrow and just move it until it's in between the Home and the Insert tab. And once it is, I can go down and click on OK. And now you can see that the Test tab has been moved. So this is how you add a tab to your Ribbon Toolbar within Microsoft Excel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscription button located at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to me and I'll be more than happy to answer them. 
I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.